much time do you have? Ask your neighbor again, how much time do you have? On this earth. Do you know how many days you are left with? Huh? Do you know how many hours you are left with? Huh? Are you afraid to die? Hmm? 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 Ask your neighbor, are you afraid to die? Huh? Your neighbor is saying what? Ask your neighbor again, are you afraid of death? Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Mama said yes. You know, the reason why most of us we are afraid to die is because we know what we are doing. Are you hearing me? When you know that your ways are not right with God, you'll be afraid of death. But when your spirit knows better, you will never be afraid of anything. Can I say that again? Before I allow you to pray. The reason why you are afraid of dying is because you are so much attached to what is happening in this earth. So much attached. You are attached to your car. You are attached to your house. You are, you are attached to everyone. Sometimes when you think about death, you look at your children. Say, but God, if I die now, what about these children? Huh? I'm sure I'm speaking the truth. Eh? Yeah. But what if Jesus comes now? Huh? You know, there are people that are so much close to you, so close, that one day God can give you an opportunity to see where they are. Those, I'm talking about those who have died. So close to your heart. One day God will just, can just open your, you know, your eyes and show you your mom in hell. What are you doing? You know, imagine you're seeing your mother in hell. Or your father, your, you know, the, the people that gave birth to you. Hallelujah. Amen. What I'm saying to you is that Tell your neighbors and neighbor, can you be ready for everything? Huh? That's why we are, we are that's the reason why we are, we are, we are afraid. You are so much afraid. When you work to benefit your spirit, you won't be afraid of anything. Can I say that again? When you were to do what? To benefit what? Your spirit. You, you will never be afraid of anything. The reason why we've got fear, Mama, you don't have it. You are ready. Clap hands for you. Because there was a day I was praying, I said, God, remove fear away from me. Remove this fear. We are so much comfortable, so much enjoying ourselves. You know, you are in, you are in a marriage that makes you to fail to pray. You are in a relationship that makes you to fail to pray. You think when you die, you're going to be sweethearts in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, yeah. change how you are living.
Tell your neighbor again. Change how you are living. There are some certain things that you have made them your priorities. You know, that's why they were speaking about the issue of the Bible. There, there are some certain things we have made them our priorities. Uh, I'm sure you're hearing what I'm trying to say. Huh? It will be very bad for you to go to hell when you come to church every day. Because even pastors are going there. They are going. You know what will take pastors there? It's what they talk. It's what they say. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sure you are hearing that. Amen. Huh? Amen. Huh? Amen. Deal with your fear. Tell your neighbor, deal with your fear. If you deal with your fear, you'll stop sinning. Mm -hmm. eh, you're not talking that way. I can't hear you. Oh. You know, I was reasoning this thing today in the morning. I was like, God, what is the time? What is the time that will have to come to you? What is the time? What is the time? Is it today? Tomorrow? Next week? You might be left with a week. I can tell you one thing. God does not care about our flesh. I'm telling you. You know, that's the reason why the apostles, they died the way they died. You think it was nice for them? Tell your neighbor, remove that fear. Remove, that fear. remove it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sure you're learning something. Amen. Huh? Amen. Jesus Christ never said he has brought peace. Did he say that? No. Huh? No. He said he has come to do it. He has brought war. War. If you think God cares about your flesh too much, start to reason the issue of Job. Remember what happened to Job? Huh? Because many of you are complaining to God, God, but why me? Why me I'm suffering? Why me I'm sick? Why me I'm going through this? What about Job? What about Job? The word of God says he was scratching his body every day. Every day, scratching, scratching. He was living with dogs outside of the house. Hey, my body. Hey, hey. But you are able to sleep. Why are you complaining? Are you not able to sleep? Huh? You won't even hear anything. But you still complain. Today, learn to remove this fear that you have. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Amen. You have got fear. Because you are so much attached to, this, to the things of this world. So much attached. We, we are so much attached You are so much attached to the things that are useless. Very useless. You are attached to something that one day you lose it. It's useless. Tell your neighbor, neighbor whatever that you have, it's useless. Tell them again. Tell them again. They're not hearing. Ah, you're not telling them nicely. Tell them again. Did they hear you? Huh? 
Sometimes we fail to worship God because of what we have. Most of you here, when you are paid, you can't worship God. The day you are paid, you don't pray. You pray a lot when your things are going down. You think God is stupid. When everything is going down, when the, you know, the bar of your money is going down like this, you want to pray. But when there's too much in the bank, no prayer. You just go, uh, no, there's, a, there's a prayer they used to teach us at school. Say, Salom Yani, Teha Beloyak, Elstene Mood, Yes, Jesophel. Amen. <laughs> Just know there's money in the bank. <laughs> but when people are poor or things are not working out or things are going, starting to go down, they pray nonstop. Can you see now that, you know, you, you are praying to receive something? Can you see that? You, you are praying to get something from God. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Amen. I want to pray for you. Amen. God, remove this fear on your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. I cannot hear you. Amen. Your amen is very small. Amen. I want to pray for you now, but I'm sure you have learned something. How many of you have learned something? Did you learn something? Yeah. Huh? Always ask yourself this question. When is the time? Because when you were born, people were preaching, saying Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Some of you, you even say, ah, no, these people are lying to us. Even by the time of Noah, people thought he was lying. God is using you servants to warn you all the time. Hey, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. The reason why it takes time is because some of you are not ready. You're not ready. You come to church when you've got a problem. When there's no issues, you don't come to church. Remember what the word of God said. God said, don't give what is holy to the dogs. Why should we take the food of the children and we give it to wrong people? He was trying to say, those that are coming in search of something, they must never receive it. But those that are searching for me, they will have everything. <laughs>